The Autodesk Inventor Optimization Service, powered by Autodesk Cloud, enables users to take advantage of the processing power inherent in cloud-based applications. While analysis optimization using local processors is limited to the number and speed of local physical cores, cloud-based optimization has access to computing resources not available using any other method. The cloud-based Inventor Optimization Service is exclusively available to customers with an Autodesk subscription to the Premium or Ultimate Edition of Autodesk Product Design Suite. Now, let's see Inventor Optimization in action. Here we see a portion of a suspension damper assembly from a Formula One race car. We are going to use the Optimization Service to help us simultaneously remove weight and increase strength. The Materials tool enables us to test alternate material configurations and base the factor of safety on either the yield or ultimate tensile strengths of the materials. To begin, we define boundary conditions, which essentially describe the environment in which this damper is mounted and loaded during operation. Pin constraints are used to define those areas that are free to rotate about an axis, while force loads are placed to emulate the forces generated by the suspension itself. We are able to not only select the faces to which these loads are exerted, but we can also specify a vector that defines the direction in which the force itself is applied. Next, we will use the same design parameters that Inventor uses to store the dimensional values for part features. However, we are going to use the optimization service to specify a set of alternate values for each of the parameters selected, which when combined will define a range of feature and part sizes. From this range of values, the optimization service will essentially build iterations of the assembly and then test them against the target factor of safety that we will set here. Once we hit Optimize, the iterative set is sent to Autodesk Cloud, where the versions are solved in parallel with one another. The Job Status Viewer enables us to view each of the iterations, as well as the current progress of each of those versions. An added benefit to this approach is that the user is able to exit Inventor, and even shut down the machine itself while processing continues in the cloud. Because Autodesk Cloud does not rely on local hardware resources, the jobs are still processed, and the solver is still running, regardless of the status of the local machine. While viewing the results, we are able to select and display the items and loads that interest us. We can also animate the results against the undeformed original assembly. Here, we are able to see the factor of safety distribution on the model, as well as the minimum and maximum results overlaid. The configuration sorter enables users to view all of the changes that were made, but more importantly, it displays, by default, only those configurations that meet the factor of safety design criteria which was specified initially. We can select and activate any of these versions, review the changes made in each, and gauge the impact of the changes on both weight and factor of safety. By manually adjusting both the factor of safety and weight ranges, we can view all of the defined assembly iterations. One of the biggest advantages of the Inventor Optimization Service is that it automatically sorts through these versions and displays only those that meet the defined design criteria. Reporting tools are included, which allow users to configure and then automatically generate reports in any number of file formats. By default, only the successful design iterations are included, and the optimal version is highlighted. These reports may be distributed and shared with other members of the design team or any other group or individual who needs this information. Thank you for watching and learning about Autodesk Inventor Optimization.